It is time for us to ask the expert this morning on KFAV. And joining us on the phone lines, Dr. Caitlin Rogers, who is a primary care physician with the BJC Medical Group on the Progress West Hospital campus. We're going to chat with her about blood pressure. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, I was talking earlier, blood pressure, I think, is one of those things we kind of take for granted when we go to the doctor's office. You slip the sleeve on us. We don't think much about it. What exactly is blood pressure, though? Absolutely. So blood pressure refers to um, two different measurements. The first measurement is the, the pressure in the arteries when the heart contracts or squeezes. Um, and then the pressure in the arteries when the heart relaxes is the second measurement. Um, so these are called the systolic and the diastolic blood pressures. Um, so when you're looking at your blood pressure reading when it's taken at home or at the doctor's office, the systolic is the top number of the blood pressure reading and the diastolic is the bottom number. What would you consider to be a healthy blood pressure? Yeah, there are a few different um, societies that contribute guidelines um, to define what a healthy blood pressure is. So this can vary anywhere between below 130 over 80 um, to 140 over 90. Um, this usually isn't diagnosed based on one reading because lots of things can cause your blood pressure to temporary elevate, temporarily elevate, such as illness. Um, but if you start to have persistently elevated blood pressures, then that's when we diagnose um, hypertension or high blood pressure. And having either one of these numbers, the top number or the bottom number elevated, does qualify as a high blood pressure. So then what are some of the things that do have an impact on, on their blood pressure? There are going to be a lot of things that can impact this. Um, first of all, age does increase our blood pressure over time. Um, obesity is a big contributing factor, so it's important to maintain a healthy weight. Family history and genetics plays a big role in that as well. Um, certain races are going to be more prone to having high blood pressure. Um, other things that can contribute um, in terms of lifestyle are going to be diets that are high in salt. Um, excess alcohol intake and smoking. Um, another really important thing is to um, stay physically active um, because lack of physical activity will increase your blood pressure. Um, sometimes there are um, causes for high blood pressure that aren't necessarily related to lifestyle um, and there can be underlying causes like sleep apnea or sometimes kidney or hormone disorders that will contribute to this. Interesting. So say I do uh, have a high blood pressure diagnosis. What's the treatment for, for, process for that? There's going to be a couple ways to go about this. Lifestyle um, does play a huge role in reducing your blood pressure, just like it can elevate your blood pressure. So um, reducing salt intake, weight loss, staying physically active, especially cardiovascular exercise, avoid drinking too much alcohol, quit smoking. Um, but there are several medications that can be used to treat high blood pressure. Um, sometimes it can take one medication. Sometimes it takes a combination of medications to reach your blood pressure goals. And your doctor can help you decide which of these is going to be best for you. What about health risk uh, from high blood pressure? What are we looking at? Absolutely. So when high blood pressure goes untreated, um, basically what happens is there's increased stress on the heart and the arteries, and this can cause organ damage. So this not only affects the heart, um, increasing the risk of things like heart attack and stroke, but it can affect other organ systems too. So some people will see vision changes and eye damage, um, and you can also see kidney damage from high blood pressure. Interesting. So in other words, this is something, uh, don't let it run on. Uh, it, it's a good idea. How often should we be checking our blood pressure, by the way? Absolutely. So at a minimum, um, you want to be seeing your, your primary care doctor yearly for blood pressure checks. However, if you notice that um, it's running a little more elevated, they're going to bring you back more frequently um, to keep an eye on this and then treat it if it's indicated. Very good. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's Dr. Caitlin Rogers. Again, she's a primary care physician with the BJC Medical Group on the Progress West Hospital campus. You can schedule an appointment with Dr. Rogers by calling 636 928 well as we ask the expert this morning on KFAV.